Hello everyone, right now we're going to be demonstrating some amazing Atomic Wave games with uh, performance and speed improvements. Uh, let's check them out. And uh, we'll start out with the one that people have been asking about the most. We're going to talk about Fist of the North Star. Big, big fan of the anime and of course the OVAs and such and even the video games. I like the original NES game, uh, Fist of the North Star. Then of course Last Battle, which is on the Sega Genesis, which is Fist of the North Star. But it is actually censored. The Japan version has crazy mayhem violence where the enemies are splattering everywhere. But uh, let's check it out right now. And you're going to see Fist of the North Star run absolutely beautifully. Impeccable awesomeness here. And it reminds me of a full-fledged uh, Tekken-style game here, in essence. Okay. And I'm going to go through all the games that you guys and gals have been requested. But this is the number one game that people have wanted to see in action. And it is running incredible. Oh, Makoto Nukan, a.k.a. Fist of the North Star. Okay. And who am I going to play as? We'll play as Mamiya. Okay. Great two-player mode activate going on here. You can see they have some Street Fighter style moves here. But let's see how this plays. Definitely way better than before. And this is so awesome. One, decide the destiny. Okay. Fast paces can be. Okay, come on, Natural Libra, reject, pain wannabe. I'm taking you down. We'll do some Street Fighter style. Wow, what's that? That's crazy. Throw a, a drum barrel right in front of me. That's very cool. You can see this running near flawlessly, and yes, I'm going to try to get this running better on the Mega Drive S and NES Classics as well. KO! We'll take this guy down and we'll move on to a few more games. An incredible character here, definitely my style of fight in here. And loving this music, this music is absolutely mind-blowing. Oh yeah, you're going down, dude. Such an awesome game. And I'll do a tutorial on how to run these, of course, prior to the release, within a few days. But very, very stacked about this, and awesome, awesome stuff here. Okay, let's try another game. Uh, let's see what else we have here. Uh, maybe we'll do a King of Fighters game next. Okay, let's look at this beautiful artwork here. Uh, we'll do King of Fighters right there. Okay, King of Fighters, here we come. We'll load it with the same exact core. Then after this, we're going to actually clear the cache, which I showed you in my last video, because these are pretty CPU-intensive cores. I'm talking about PSP, Dreamcast, Sega Saturn, and so on. So it's a very, very good idea to exit RetroArch every once in a while, and or even shut down your system and boot it back up, because otherwise... You might uh, be overloading the cache in memory that is in action at that given time, and you might notice a uh, lag in your menus. And then that could uh, essentially lead to a crash or freeze, and then you might have to reinstall Blame Sync, Auto Blame, Retro Boot, or so on. Because it is what it is. You might have disk corruption, or, uh, and you might have to install a modification again. It's no fun, so try to play things safe. Kind of like when you're playing Excite Bike and you're holding down the Hyper Accelerate button and you kind of overdo it. Figure it that way. Okay, who are we going to pick? Uh, Janet. Okay, this should be fun. And this game is running pretty damn awesome. Again, I have not fully tested all these games yet, but you're going to see some of these for the first time here. Okay. So far, so good, and just awesome, awesome stuff here. I mean, definitely the next evolution to the Neo Geo hardware essentially. Great job, American Sammy and company. I'm loving these 3D style uh, fight environments here. King of the Fighters has always been awesome, man. I'm talking about King of Fighters, not King of the Fighters. And I guess I'm going to have to try Neo Geo Battle Coliseum next, since that was uh, the other request. But let's see if I can pull off a special move here. Gonna need you to show me some moves, uh, Broken Sprite. <laughs> oh, at least we can do the uh, Tekken Tag Tournament style uh, swap there. Very awesome. Counter move. Another great soundtrack here. Oh, that was a flub. I wish I would have had that move land. 
I'll get it on round two. <laughs> definitely, absolutely enjoying this game. And I like all the King of Fighters games, even the uh, Neo Geo Pocket variant. Let's do some kind of flashy substance. Oh, there we go, I landed at that time. Oh yeah, that was a pretty nice combo. I'm hoping I can get like a 7 or 8 hit combo though, and not flub any more moves. And these are not all going to run flawlessly, but they're running pretty damn good considering. This definitely reminds me of a Street Fighter character, like Thunderhawk and such. Definitely getting used to this moveset. I like this character a lot better, this Gen X character. Okay. Awesome, awesome stuff. Who's this guy? Looks like Ghost Rider out of a uh, costume without the flame going on. Maybe I can do some flashy move with this guy. Definitely need a lot of practice on this one. <laughs> but it is what it is. That was like playing Tech and Tech Tournament too, and you could do like the swap of the characters and do like multi combos with two characters. Oh, there we go. Nice KO move. Okay, we're gonna actually exit Retroarch and clear the cache. And if you ever notice your menu's lagging, that is probably the best time to exit Retroarch and or shut your system down and come back on. Okay, we're back in action. I'm actually using my Logitech controller now because I'd like to try a racing game. And this is the same controller that I used on Crisis on PC for many years. And some of you might be wondering, how did I use it for Crisis? Since Microsoft made it where you can only use the official 360 controller, uh, I actually did a little bit of a workaround using x pattern But we're going to try faster than speed right now. Beautiful artwork. It kind of reminds me of a matchup between Need for Speed and Fast and the Furious. And I still need to watch the latest Fast and the Furious movie uh, for sure. I have a few movies to catch up on. But we're going to check it out. And there's no absolute guarantee I'm going to have controls on this game. Because if you ever played uh, arcade games like Cruising USA World, Race Driving, or Hard Driving, you might notice that some of these need special configuration and or analog setup initializations or such. But I'm going to try to work these then, and of course I play uh, Race Driving, the arcade version of it, on the Midway Arcade Collection Volume 3, which is where it runs best. But I'm also going to test the Saturn version in my next video demonstration for the second Saturn course. But again, yes, this reminds me so much of Need for Speed and Fast and the Furious. And I'm going to hopefully have some kind of control scheme here where I can at least accelerate or decelerate. Let's see if I can do anything whatsoever here. No guarantee. Oh, that was a great start. And I'm not sure if I have control. I have uh, uh, nature socks that hurt. See if I can. Wow, awesome. But I'm unable to turn left or right. I'm going to have to work on this. I'm definitely going to have to work on the controls and maybe reconfigure them. But uh, this is still absolutely awesome. So definitely a game to work on. Uh, now we're going to try another game. Again, uh, if you ever tried cruising in USA, it's simply not even going to load because you got to set it up. And if you set it up and properly and you try to accelerate, you're going to drive about 3 to 4 miles per hour until you have it set up appropriately. But uh, let's see what else we have here. Uh, quite a few more games to go through. Uh, we'll do Rumble Fish and we'll go right to Rumble Fish 2. Why not? Same core. And I'll get a couple more games and then I'm going to do another Sega Saturn video. Okay, helpful on this one. And Sammy does it again. And how many of you remember any uh, Nintendo games by American Sammy, such as Guerrilla War? Guerrilla War is one of the absolute best Welcome games ever six. made. Select fighter. Okay, we'll pick uh, Garnet. Why not? Garnet. Now I'm going to turn the volume down a little bit on this because the volume definitely went up a little bit there. Oh, absolutely beautiful artwork here. Something right out of the JoJo Bizarre Adventure OVA style scheme here. Oh, this is really awesome. Oh, yeah. Very, very happy on this one. 
Great environment. Look at the amazing background and environmental effects there. Some of you might remember playing the 3DO version of Street Fighter 2, where they had better background effects than they did, and even the arcade version, such as the elephants having animations and so on. Oh, this is so cool. I wish this game would have gotten more prominent than, you know, like games like Street Fighter, uh, Mortal Kombat, so on, but it is very, uh, not really well known, should I say. Definitely Joe Jones' Bizarre Adventure got way more notoriety than this incredible game. Still awesome, though. Let's see if I can win this battle here. Oh, yeah. Great finisher there. Okay, very, very cool indeed. I'm very, very happy with Rumblefish, too. Uh, let's see what else we have here. Again, we also have light gun games, which we have no guarantee we're going to be able to control or have any kind of uh, mouse support for. We'll see, though. Uh, what else do we have here? Uh, sports shooter and extreme hunter. I got quite a few light gun style games there. I'm looking for what I would like to test there. Uh, we got Max Speed, another racing game. I guess we could try that real quick. I mean, it might be the exact same as the other game. And again, some of these might require special setups. And there actually is a configuration menu you can go into for even the Naomi games and such. But some of these, I'm going to try to have these pre-configured so when you hook them up with the PlayStation Classic controller, such, for instance, the faster than speed, you'll be able to have uh, drivability to the game instead of not being able to drive left or right. See right here, this is exactly what I'm talking about. This is exactly what you would see if you try uh, cruising USA, race driving, hard driving. You have to do all these configurations here. If you do them improperly, the game's going to control like absolute crap. So we're actually not even going to bother with that right now. And you can see I'm getting a little bit of lag there, so I'm actually going to exit RetroArch. And I'm going to plug in my other controller again, my PlayStation Classic controller. We're going to get back in action again. Okay. And now we're back to my PlayStation Classic controller. But yes, you saw I got a little bit of lag in my menu, so I definitely want to uh, go back to Exit Red Shark. Now we're smooth again. Okay, let's see what else we're going to have. We'll try one more game here. See if we have one more action game in the list there. Maybe we'll do a Guilty Gear game. How about uh, Guilty Gear X? Why not? This is our final game for this video, and then we'll do more in the next video. Whichever games you guys and gals request. So again, we're going to do Guilty Gear X as our final game. And I did hope if I actually load the right core. I'm getting a little bit off tangent there, as some people would say. But uh, I'm crossing my fingers this game runs well, because each and every other one has run well, other than their two racing games, which I'm probably going to have to configure. Okay, please work, and... And this is a Naomi game, actually. <laughs> You saw the different uh, structure here. So we have a Naomi game mixed in here. Okay. Oh, she looks like a cool character to use. I want some Kill Bill style action going on here. Okay. But yes, I'm going to be doing a bunch of Naomi and a Thomas Wave games. Oh, this is beautiful. Like the Street Fighter 3 games, the FBA games, CPS 3, should I say. This is probably my favorite artwork out of all the uh, games I've played so far. This is absolutely beautiful. Like a full-fledged cartoon. Yeah, this is great. This fits right in with them CPS 3 games with their beautiful artwork. <laughs> oh, this is uh, cool as hell. Not to say, I'm not uh, a huge fighting game fan because they're not necessarily that fun to play by yourself. A lot of times I I can play them for hours on end, like with sports games, with my friends. But uh, if I'm going to play a solo game, I want to be playing something more like Symphony of the Night, Castlevania, or a Metroidvania game. But yes, if you get a friend over, a few friends over, you can play fighting games non-stop for hours on end. And even though I'm not like the hugest uh, purist as far as fighting games are concerned, I probably put a few hundred hours into Tekken games, Soul Calibur games, Mortal Kombat, Street Fighter, and then so on. Just because I've had friends over when I played them. I kind of do primarily the one player mode activate uh, when I'm trying to learn moves. And I've learned 10 hit combos in all the Tekken games and so on. I mean, I'm really, really good with Steve. 
when I played the one Tekken tag game uh, that was free on PS3, I was pretty much a uh, perfect record, non-beatable on that. And uh, when you level up the stats, I level up all of the attack ability. I didn't worry about my defense. I was all entirely uh, offense on that one. And we know that uh, the best offense is a good defense. So it kind of was a little bit counter uh, intuitive to the entire uh, Genesis Qua. So let's finish out Ponycon, and then we're going to call this quits there. Maybe I'll try one more game, guys and gals. We'll try a game which might have like on style support. But yes, this is awesome. Guilty Gear S. Uh, let's see what we have here. There has to be one more game here to try. And we even have uh, this game here called Animal Basket, which uh, I haven't tested yet, but it might be kind of an animal puzzle style game. Uh, let's see what else we have here. There is another King of Fighters game, but I'm going to try to see if I have another game to try out here. Uh, I'm kind of hoping I have controls on this. I may not have controls on this game at all, but I'm going to try loading it anyway. Again, this uh, actual arcade game used a, a light gun interface like House of the Dead, so I might have zero controls on this one. But luckily we have controls on games like Jurassic Park Arcade, which are incredibly awesome. I mean, and again, I give personal thanks to Grant2258 for helping me get some of the analog controls fixed up for MAME 2003+. Plus. And again, I might not be able to control this. Let's see, though. Select your operation. You see, I have no controls right now, so I'm going to have to work this in. I might be able to use a mouse, though, so yes, we got a dud there. I have no ability to control that right there. 